Yo, what's up, folks? How y'all doing? It's your boy, Mike, D-A-K-D-E-80, 13 Wonder of the World, Mike DZ. How y'all doing this night, Um, this Thursday night? Uh, kind of tired, but I got to go hit the job, but uh, I just wanted to come and rap with y'all for a few. Shout out to the Point Place family, shout out to Bobby Reezy. As well as my little homie Embrys, as well as Naya Naya, as well as my sister. I love all y'all. Thank y'all for listening to me on the point of view on this Thursday night. Man, um not gonna be on here long. Friday is pre-WrestleMania night, SmackDown Hall of Fame. Saturday, NXT Stand Delivered, night one of WrestleMania. Then, of course, click, kicks it off with night two of WrestleMania. Then, Monday night after WrestleMania. So, there's a lot going to be going on this week in the role of professional wrestling, especially WWE. AEW Collision will come on after the Final Four. Um which will be starting Saturday for them to decide who's going to go for the championship for the NCAA championship. It's going to either be, uh, excuse me, Purdue, um, North Carolina State, uh, Connecticut, and um, what's the other team that's playing? Alabama. So we'll see what happens with that as that goes forward as well. Um, excuse me, guys, I'm kind of raspy a little bit, so I probably won't be on here too long. But tomorrow I'll be on, definitely tomorrow I'll be on with the rest of the point of view. Um, yeah, man, the Lakers are kicking butt. Uh, been doing what they got to do to try to stay into the, the playoff hunt, um, even though it's kind of all... Uh, it's kind of dim for them right now, but it looks like they're going to be in the play-in, uh, which I hope that they don't because it's going to take a lot to get out of that to get to the playoffs. So if any team can do it, it's LeBron James and the Lakers. They can do it. Anthony Davis playing great. He's not injured this year. Not like talking about it. Let's knock on wood that he stays healthy. For the whole playoff run. Warriors are in the mix. Uh, Suns are in the mix. Rockets are in the mix. Key game tonight between the Warriors and the Rockets. And it looks like the Warriors are, are probably going to win that game. Because they were up on the Rockets. So we'll see what happens with that as well. Man. Wrestling has been off the chain, man. Since Monday, Tuesday, NXT, last night, AEW. Oh, my God. We closed out Raw with a Rock and Roman doing what they do best. And that's get the one up on Cody and Seth. I'm here to tell you guys, I think the Rock and Roman will win Saturday night. I mean, yeah, Saturday night. And I think that Cody is going to win Sunday. I think it's going to be bloodline rules Sunday. And then that's when you're going to see everybody else gets in the mix. Just that plain and simple, guys. You know, that's what I see. That's what I'm looking at. And that's possibly what's going to happen. Um, Missing pieces on everything. Becky and Rhea going at it. They're going strong. Um, Judgment Day dominated, but they're going to lose. And I'm going to tell you this. There are going to be two sets of champions at the end of that ladder match at WrestleMania. Both teams are not going to win both belts. The Awesome Truth is going to win the Raw titles in my book. Guess who I think is going to win the SmackDown titles? It's not going to be Street Profits. It's not going to be No Catch Zone. It ain't going to be them. It's going to be Austin Theory. 
and Grayson Waller. They are going to become the SmackDown Tag Team Champions. That's my thought on it. As we see what picks up, Rock one-on-one -on -one with was supposed to be Seth Rollins against The Rock one-on-one. -on -one. Ain't happened. Solo took on Seth Rollins, and of course, he's the buffer. So he's always in the mix. He's going to play a very, 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 very important role when WrestleMania comes around, especially that Sunday night. Yeah, everything, everything is Sami Zayn attacked by Gunther. I do believe that either Gunther's going to lose by Sami Zayn or Chad Gable is going to screw Sami Zayn out of becoming the Intercontinental Champion. It's going to be one of the two. That's my thoughts on it. And I'll give you more of my predictions on it the day of WrestleMania. Uh, NXT, Live Valkyrie. Roxanne Perez, wow. OB versus Die Jack. Man, that's going to be an interesting match, that three way match they have. Tag team titles, I thought the OC was going to win and they didn't. So, Maximum, not Maximum, Axiom, excuse me, and um, Frazier. Probably going to beat the Wolf Dogs. I could be wrong about that. Don't quote me on that one. Because the Wolf Dogs could still win and, and Braun Breaker and them could lose the match that following Tuesday on NXT to crown some new tag team champions. We'll see how that goes as well. Stand Deliver is going to be hot. Of course, Trick and Mellow Game, they're going to butt heads, man. That's going to be interesting to see. Everybody's invested in that. For the first time in NXT history, two black superstars are going to be main eventing uh, 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 NXT pay-per-view. That's very historical, especially young men like Trick and Mello. So congratulations to them for that. Um, and I'm just proofreading and going through what uh, about the wrestling right now. Uh, as well as, as far as AEW, they know what they're doing. Swerve, Joe. Very, very intense rivalry. Very, very intense. You're going to see Edge team up with, you know, Eddie Kingston and Mark Briscoe versus House of Black. Very interesting. See what happens on that. Very interesting. Not only that, let's talk about something else. Tony Storm versus Thunder Rosa. That's what's going to happen. Willow Nightingale versus Julia Hart. Very interesting. Those girls are going to do what they got to do. Willow Nightingale could become the second black TBS champion. The first one was Jay Cargill. We're going to see what happens with that as well. You know, you got uh, Daniel Bryan versus Will Ospreay. Very interesting to see what happens in that match. Very interesting. Okada looked like he's going to go up against Pac. Very interesting, guys. The tag team tournament, which will be the Young Bucks, you know, they're in, I guess, it looks like it's going to be FTR versus the Young Bucks. I'm just saying that because it looked like that's what it's going to come down to. And the Young Bucks probably win this time. Or FTR, you guys got to remember, FTR has a four-year deal with AEW. So that's going to be interesting to see what happens with that. Um, but the shocker was Trip Beretta turning on OC, a heel turn. Nobody expected that. I, I thought it was going to be Romero or Chuck that was going to turn on OC or OC turn on them. No. Trip Beretta turned on the best friends. And we'll see what happens as that story goes forward because it's going to be Orange Cassidy, Orange punching Trip Beretta in a match. You're going to see that happen soon. And I'm just proof feeding everything. Uh, WrestleMania press conferences started. 
WrestleMania has a lot going on right now. So, you guys remember Peacock. After SmackDown tomorrow night, Hall of Fame inducted. Great, great class of Hall of Famers. You're going to see Rotunda there. Barry Windham for the second time. It's going to be interesting to see, uh, you know, Thunderbolt Patterson, uh, Bull on the counter, Rock's grandmother, Paul Heyman inducted by Roman Reigns. You're going to see a lot of guys that are going to be inducted into this thing. Uh, somebody else from the celebrity wing is going to be inducted. I forgot who it is. A uh, very important person. Muhammad Ali is going to be inducted in the Hall of Fame, the WWE Hall of Fame. That's great to see that they're keeping Ali's legacy around so new generations can learn more about Muhammad Ali. For those that didn't know who he was, uh, Cassius Clay, one of the greatest boxers in the history of the sport of boxing, of professional boxing. Muhammad Ali was great. So you'll see what happens, the stories that you hear. I'm quite sure Layla Ali will be the one that inducts her dad into the Hall of Fame. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that tomorrow. Busy week in the business of wrestling. Busy week in the, the reins of college basketball. Busy week in the reins of, you know, Major League Baseball, NBA, as the season's winding down, look, those bottom teams got to win games. The Lakers are now on a road trip. I mean, off the road trip and back at home. They've got to win those games at home. Just they're playing simple. That's what it is, you know. And it's a shame the Knicks are going to lose Julius Randle for the season. They're not going to go that far without Julius Randle. I can tell you that right now. Not going to happen. Um, Kawhi Leonard's out. I hope he'd be back for the playoffs. If I was the Clippers and if I didn't care about seeding, if I knew I could beat a team by wherever I'm seated at, I would risk Kawhi Leonard for a couple of games, bring him back out for the last of the game. But the Clippers are capable of winning without Kawhi Leonard. So that means that Paul George got to stay healthy. That means Russell Westbrook got to do his thing since he's back. And, of course, James Harden. So we'll see what happens with that. The Warriors in the dogfight, they've got to keep winning, keep Houston off of them. You know, and the same goes for the Eastern Conference. Teams like the Bulls, Atlanta Hawks, they're in the play-in. Looks like those guys are trying to get there. Philadelphia is now in the play-in. So you got to see what, what matchup fits you best and what can you do to make it better. So we'll see what happens with that as well as the season is over on, I think it's over with April 14th, if I'm not mistaken. And that's on a Sunday because the play is probably going to either start that Tuesday or Wednesday. So we'll see what happens with that as well. Major League Baseball as well. Folks, I haven't really been talking about baseball yet, but I give me, give me some time. I will be talking about baseball. Trust me when I tell you this. Um, yeah, that's it for right now um, on this Thursday. Tomorrow I will be back on giving you guys my predictions of WrestleMania matches and things like that. But until then, God bless you, God. Keep you guys have a good night. Keep your head up and keep your eye on the prize. Good night. Good morning, people. Good morning. How y'all doing on this Saturday morning? Wow, man. Big Saturday going on here in the history of sports and entertainment, baby. You know, shout out to the Point Place family. Shout out to Bobby Reese. Shout out to M. Breezy. Shout out to Naya Naya. Shout out to my sister. I love all y'all. Thank y'all for listening to me on The Point of View this Saturday morning. Man, it is a lot going on this morning today. In a few minutes, NXT Stand and Deliver is going to be on. Also, later on, NCAA Basketball. Tonight, you'll find out who's going to be playing for the championship. Is it going to be 
North Carolina State? Is it going to be Purdue? Is it going to be UConn? Is it going to be Alabama? I think it's going to be Purdue versus UConn for the title. And it's going to be Kalen Clark against South Carolina and Don Staley. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with that, man. I, I couldn't believe last night the call that they made that really knocked UConn out, girls out of the situation. So I'm here to talk about that as well. Uh, I also want to give up my, my, give my predictions on night one's WrestleMania card as well as NXT, which is about to come on in a minute. And I know half of the card, I know most of the card for NXT stand deliver, which is going to take place at, in Philadelphia before later on tonight, which is night one of WrestleMania. Also, the NBA's on today, Major League Baseball, hockey. The NBA, all I know is the first game is the Lakers versus the Cavaliers. Donovan Mitchell against LeBron James. We're going to see what I'm going to talk about that. We're going to see what happens in that game as well. And I will once again say that my Lakers are going to win tonight. I think to this morning, well, this afternoon, whenever they play, I think that the Lakers are going to have a shot at getting out of the play-in. Last night, Golden State and Dallas had a great run, a great game. And come to find out, Dallas, without Luka Doncic, was able to beat the Warriors with Steph, Clay, and Draymond. Very interesting. We'll see what happens with that. But let me get into the meat and potatoes of the session, folks. Let me talk about, let me talk about for a minute, NXT Stand and Deliver. The matches, I know most of the matches by heart. Let's talk about one. Let's talk about this first. Let's get it. First match I think is going to happen is going to be who wins the main event between Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams. So we'll see if Trick can beat Carmelo. I think, and I will say this, I think that Carmelo's going to win that match. I could be wrong. That's my prediction because I think that he's going to come in wanting to get at Carmelo bad. And instead of him, you know, mentally thinking about this, he's going to go for the gusto. And I think that's what's going to happen. Now, Trick could win, but my prediction is Melo. Also, uh, Live Valkyrie against Roxanne Perez. This could be a great move if Roxanne Perez wins the title back. I don't think she's going to win. I could be wrong. I'm just predicting. I'm just predicting. I'm saying that. But I think that La Valkyrie will possibly retain the NXT title. That's one of my other predictions. I think that, I think that um, the Wolf Dogs remain the tag team champions. I don't know. I don't know how long Braun Breaker is going to be there, but I think Braun Breaker, this might be the finish of Braun Breaker today, and he goes back to the main roster. I think that Axelman and Frazier win the tag team titles. I think that uh, Dragunov retains the title over Tony D. Now, Tony D can win because there are talks about Dragunov going to the main roster and becoming the character like Gunther. So we'll see, what, see how that turns out as well. Ladies and gentlemen, also, uh, what's the other match going on there? The, the, I don't think the North American title is going to change hands. I think Obi is still going to be the champion. It's going to be a great, great NXT, folks, and it's starting within the next 30 minutes. So I'm going to be on here for that, and then I'm going to get off of it and go to NXT as well. Let me talk about let me talk about WrestleMania, the big meat and potatoes. Let's talk about night one. We have so many matches taking place on night one. We'll talk about night two at, a, at another time. 
one of the big matches before I talk about Rock and Roman versus Cody and Seth. Let's talk about the first, the other matches. I think the women's championship could possibly open the show. I don't know. Or it could be the tag team titles. So let's talk about the first situation. Let's talk about Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch. I think that Becky Lynch loses this match, and I'll tell you why I think that. I think Rhea Ripley is going to have a Roman Reigns-type reign as the women's champion. That's exactly what WWE is trying to do with them. I think that's exactly what I'm trying, to, what I see happening, and I think that's what WWE is trying to do. They're trying to make her have a long reign as the women's champion. And the best way to do it is to take her and go up against Becky and take Becky to the minimum. That's exactly what's going to happen. I do believe that Becky Lynch is going to beat, is going to lose to Rhea Ripley. That's exactly what I think is going to happen in this situation. I, I, I'm going for Becky. I think, Be I mean, going for Rhea, excuse me. I think Rhea's going to be Becky, and I think Becky's probably going to take time off from the business because her contract is coming up, her and Seth. So we'll see what happens when Seth, if Seth loses his title tomorrow. But I'm here to tell you, I think that both Becky and, and Seth are going to probably be uh, titleless after WrestleMania. That's just my opinion on that. So I got Rhea, win Rhea Ripley winning. That match. Okay. The other match is on there. Damage Control versus Jay Cargill, Naomi, and Bianca Belair. This match is going to be a win for Bianca, Jade, and Naomi. Because two, two reasons why I say this. One, she is still one of the biggest names in the business. I'm talking about... Um, Bianca Belair, you, you can't just market her to lose. So that's another thing. She's going to be, she's still going to be, I think she's undefeated at WrestleMania. I think she's going to stay undefeated at WrestleMania. But here's the other thing. Let me talk about that. This is to put Jay Cargill on the biggest stage, have one of the biggest matches, and put her out there as a showcase match instead of putting her in a championship match. So that is interesting to see what happens with that as well. So Damage Control, they're going to lose. Dakota Kai, uh, Asuka, and Carly Sane, the Kabuki Warriors, they're going to lose. They're not going to beat the team of Bianca, Jade, and, you know, Naomi. So, and this is great because this is going to be the three black girls on one side against the, the other girls, the, the, the Caucasian and the, the Japanese girls on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how that, go, how that turns out for them. But a great job for them to get to WrestleMania. So I think that they will win. Okay. The Latino Order versus the LWO. That's the other match that's going to take place on night one, which is tonight. According to the according to this is what the card sheet was announced earlier this morning, so it could change. But I'm going by what's going on this morning. The LWO, Dragon Lee, Rey Mysterio versus Santos and Dominique Mysterio. Now we know that Dragon Lee is no longer in the match because of what happened last night on SmackDown. I don't know if Dragon Lee's out with an injury. I don't know why they took him out, but. Carlito looks like he's going to end up joining with uh, La Fata with uh, Fantasma, with Santos and, and, and Angel and Herberto and Lector Lopez. I think that's what's going to happen. I think Carlito's going to turn on Ray because it's going to come out that he the one attacked Dragon Lee. But because of that, Andrade is now a part of the tag match. 
Everybody thought that Andrade was going to be down with the Judgment Day, but it looks like now that's not going to happen. It's going to be, it's going to be, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be Andrade and Rey, Myst Rey Mysterio, who used to have great matches when Andrade was in WWE on the main roster, especially for the United States title. He was switching it back and forth with him and Rey Mysterio. But now it's interesting to see what happens with this situation. I do believe that Dragon Lee will come back from the injury, but I do believe that it's going to be Rey Mysterio against Santos when it's all over, but it's always going to be Andrade. Andrade's going to be there to help with this match. Great tag match between them. So we'll see what happens. Okay. Another match that's going to take place tonight. The Usos against each other. Jay Uso against Jimmy. Let me say this right quick. I think J Jay Uso wins. I think he beats Jimmy. And I think tomorrow they're both going to play a part in the title match between Roman Reigns and Cody Rhodes. I think tonight, if Jimmy Uso wins this match, it's going to be because of the interference. But if Jay Uso wins this match, he's going to beat him straight up. So we're going to see what happens with that. There's nothing too much to talk about, but two brothers are going to go at it. So we're going to see what's going on with that. I got Jay winning that match. Now, the other match. Let me talk about that match as well. The Intercontinental title. Tonight, Gunther versus Sami Zayn. I, I, I want to say what I really want to think about this. I want to say I have two, two opinions on this. This match between Gunther and Sami Zayn. I want to say that Gunther wins the match. I want to say that. But I also want to say that Sami Zayn breaks the record and undefeated and makes Gunther defeated, not undefeated. Break the undefeated streak of, of Gunther. Now, Gunther's never been pinned since he's been on the main roster. He's lost, but he hasn't lost, you know, situations in, in one, two, three. So I want to say this. I want to say that Sami Zayn is a toss up because I want to say that Sami Zayn has a chance to win. But I want to say Gunther is probably going to win. This will be different if, if Sami Zayn wins. This will be a great, great way to get Sami Zayn back to the situation. And I just think that this is what it's going to be. I think that you can go Cody Rhodes if he wins the title versus Sami Zayn at a SummerSlam or something like that. But I want to know where if Gunther loses, where does he go? That's what I want to say. And I said Cody Rhodes for a reason. Because there's no way Cody's not going to be a champion after tomorrow. But I want to see what happens between Gunther if he loses. If he loses, does he go to the main roster? Does he become the money in the bank? I think he does. But we'll see what happens, man. This is exactly what I want to see happen tonight. I'm thinking that Gunther loses to Sami Zayn. That's my final thought about that. But I won't be surprised if they win. I had said that I thought that Rey Mysterio, I forgot to give you a, 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 a prediction on the other thing. So I'm going to say Rey Mysterio and Andrade beat Santos and Dom. That's, that's my thought on that as well. So 
that's my other opinion on that. Uh, let's talk about the other match. Then we'll we'll get straight to the the uh, real meat and potatoes. Let's talk about the undisputed tag team ladder match between the New Day, the Judgment Day, who are the champions? DIY, Awesome Truth, uh, which is uh, R Truth and Miz. Um, a Town Down, which is Austin, Austin Theory and Grayson Waller, uh, New Catch Republic, which is Bait and um, Pete Dunn, and they are going to be in a ladder match. So let me just go through the tag teams I think could go, who, who I think could possibly win this. The belts are going to be split up after tonight. We're going to have a set for Raw and a, a set for SmackDown, which is what it is. I think the Judgment Day could possibly still be the Raw Tag Team Champions. But I do believe, and I will say this, I will say this with all due respect. All due respect. I think that if a team from Raw wins the tag team titles, it's going to be probably the awesome truth. But the Judgment Day could still be the Raw Tag Team Champions, and the SmackDown Tag Team Champions could be da -da -da -da, either Dawn of Bait or A-Town Down Under. Because Austin Theory and Grayson Waller are ready to become the next tag team champion. So I think that's what you do with that. And that's just my opinion on that. I don't think the New Day needs the titles. The New Day is there to showcase. I don't think DIY could possibly, could possibly be the new, uh, the new tag team champions as well. I think that's what we do. I think that's what we're going to, see possibly happen i'm just making prediction folks i don't know who's going to do it yet but this is what it is so we'll see now let's talk about the meat and potatoes rock roman cody self tag team match we're gonna see the bloodline win this match tonight. No, there's no other alternative but that way. And I'm going to tell you why. Because if they were to win, then Cody Rose would not have no type of drama going into Monday. I mean, Sunday, excuse me, not Monday, but until Monday. Because this is what we need to understand about this situation. Roman Reigns is supposed to be taking time off when he loses. That's why I know that Cody's going to be the champion tomorrow because Roman Reigns is about to take time off. So here's the, here's the deal. Here's the deal. Rock is going to be the one that pins either Cody or Seth or Roman, one of the two. I, I, but I think it's going to be Rock. I think Rock comes in and, and gets the pin for Roman. This is going to be very interesting tonight because I do believe that Roman Reigns and Rock are going to win. Roman's going to lose tomorrow at WrestleMania. If Rock and Roman wins tonight, which I think that they will, but... Cody's going to win tomorrow because there's too much, too much drama going on for him, not for him to win. His story is going to be told tomorrow night at WrestleMania. But tonight, the bloodline is going to win. Rock is going to get another WrestleMania victory. Roman Reigns is going to get another WrestleMania victory. Seth Rollins may be the one that gets pinned. Might not be Cody. But we'll see what happens with that as well. But my... my Good prediction is the bloodline. Exactly what it is. That's my prediction. And that's what I'm going to go with right there. When that goes on, 
tonight, WrestleMania night one, Philadelphia. It's going to be a great night of wrestling, folks. And AEW Collision comes on after WrestleMania goes off. But also, you know, the Final Four is on tonight as well. So we'll see what happens with that. We'll see what happens with the NBA. But we're going to be ready for WrestleMania. And we're going to be ready for, guess what? NXT Stand and Deliver, folks. So you guys get ready to watch. It comes on in about 17 minutes. So you guys enjoy everything, all doses of sports today. This has been my point of view. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow with, with night two's predictions, a recap of last night's, of tonight's WrestleMania as well. We're going to have a great time at church tomorrow. I know the Lord is going to be in the building. And I just want to, and, and oh yeah, by the way, congratulations to all of the inductees of the WWE Hall of Fame. I was happy to see Paul Heyman get his, his, uh, his flowers. He talked about ECW. He talked about Brock Lesnar. He talked about it. He threw a shot at Vince McMahon, but he talked about everything on that night. Congratulations to Bull Nakano. She lost weight, and she still looks good, even though she's older, as well as Medusa. Congratulations to Bull Nakano. Congratulations to Muhammad Ali. His wife gave The Rock a People's Championship belt. Very beautiful belt. Congratulations to Rock for getting that. Congratulations to Muhammad Ali. I miss Muhammad Ali. I really do. I love this energy. He was always down to fight, but he would always speak truth. And that's what the thing that I liked about him, about Cassius Clay, Muhammad Ali. Surprised not to see Layla Ali, you know, up there. Good to see The Undertaker was the one that did the induction. Roman Reigns did the induction for Paul Heyman. Medusa did the induction for Bull Nakano. Also, we had Mike Rotunda and Barry Wynn, the U.S. Express, the former WWE Tag Team Champions back in the day. And we know that... Rotunda was tag team champion with the Million Dollar Man. He was also in, w, in WWE, WCW, excuse me. We know that Barry Windham was a world champion in WCW. Barry Windham was great. And they gave a tribute to the Wyatts, which, by the way, the kids were the ones that inducted them. But it was great to see the, the people... Show the gratitude to Bray Wyatt. Bray, Bray Wyatt should be in the Hall of Fame next year. And Lex Luger should be in the Hall of Fame next year as well. Triple H is now doing the Hall of Fame. Vince McMahon has nothing to do with it. But as you can see, it's all, all Triple H. So we'll see what happens at next year's WrestleMania. Thunderbolt Patterson inducted by introducted by the new day he had his spokesman with him but what i liked it about thunder thunderbolt patterson he was praying at the hall of fame he was preaching he was talking about the lord and it's it's a, it's a shame if you did not want to hear that because your ears are itchy you need to hear stuff like that and coming from a black man Two black men got inducted into the Hall of Fame, WWE Hall of Fame last night. Triple H did right by bringing in Thunderbolt Patterson. That's exactly what they needed to do. Congratulations, Thunderbolt Patterson. I received what he said in Jesus' name because he was talking about God and the Lord. If it would not have been for the Lord on my side and good people. Very, very great Hall of Fame talk from Thunderbolt Patterson. Great, great. He lifted my spirit when he said that. Ladies and gentlemen, also, The Rock closed out by inducting his grandmother into the Hall of Fame. His grandmother and the high chief PMIville rest in peace. They're both now Hall of Famers. And The Rock had a, had a, had a talk to Cody Rose, told him that it's going to be personal when the ring starts. Tomorrow, tonight, which is tonight now, WrestleMania, 
So it was a great Hall of Fame. Congratulations to everybody that was in the Hall of Fame and all of them that were inducted. WrestleMania is one of the biggest times of the season. Everybody enjoys WrestleMania. It's like it's the WWE Super Bowl, like Super Bowl Sunday or the NBA Finals or, you know, the, um, the World Series, the Stanley Cup, all these things. It is what it is. So God bless and God keep. We will talk to you guys later. Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? How y'all doing? It's your boy, Mike D, aka DDE8, the 13th one of the world. Wow. Man, WrestleMania is over. Man, now we start the new stories, man. But you know, I'm going to be talking about more of that tomorrow. But man, congratulations to Cody. Congratulations to Bailey. Congratulations to R Truth. Miz, also true. Congratulations to Austin Theory. Grayson Waller, congratulations to Sami Zayn for finally beating Gunther. My boy, The Rock, the final boss, won Saturday, but Roman Reigns lost tonight. And I think he's about to go away. I think it has something to do with him still dealing with his uh, leukemia. But uh, whatever he's got going on, we pray that everything's all right with him as well. Uh, I'm just giving you guys just a few a few minutes before I head to the other job. Um, you know, Sunday, today was a great day. We had some good preaching at the church as well as uh, shout out to my uncle for being baptized as well as my baby cousins as well. Um, they all got baptized today. Congratulations to them. Uh, also, I want to give a shout out to the Point Place family, Bobby Reezy, of course. The whole Point Place family and Breezy, of course. Now United, my sister. Thank y'all. And I love y'all and thank y'all for listening to me. Uh, tomorrow's going to be a great one. We're going to also go over the Purdue um, UConn matchup for the title, the NCAA title. Congratulations to Don Staley, South Carolina, beating that monster that was Iowa and Kaylin Clark. No doubt about it. I believe she will be the number one pick in the draft. Uh, South Carolina is just better, guys. That's just all to it. Don Staley is just a better, you know, just knows how to get the best out of her players. I, I will say this, though. I think Caitlin Clark will be the number one pick, and I think Angel Reese will be the second. But, you know, it is what it is, folks. So, you know, that's what happens. Uh... I'll get back into the the WrestleMania recap tomorrow. Also, the Lakers are playing tonight, but they're not playing with LeBron. LeBron's out, but AD's in. We're going to see what they do against Minnesota. And they got some other games that they got to get. Next Sunday will be the end of the season, folks. Playoff starts off next week. So we'll see what happens with that as well. But, man... What a great WrestleMania. What a great NXT. Congratulations to Roxanne Perez for winning. Trick winning as well. Um, Obi retaining. You know, Logan Paul retaining over Randy Orton and Kevin Owens. Uh, some great matches. Bobby Lashley and the Street Profits beat the Final Testament. Uh, we saw that match. We saw Rey Mysterio and Andrade defeat. Uh, Sad Toes and Dominique Mysterio. Rhea Ripley beat Becky Lynch. Uh, Jay Uso beat Jim Uso. You know, great matches at WrestleMania, man. Great matches at WrestleMania. We saw the return of John Cena. We saw the return of The Undertaker. We saw, we saw Snoop Dogg. <laughs> we saw Snoop Dogg calling action. Man, we saw a lot in Philly, man. Now as Philly goes on down, Monday Night Raw is now the WrestleMania fallout. Believe me when I tell you this, and I'm, I'm about to leave. But remember, when I, remember what I'm going to tell you. There's always a new story in wrestling. So the night after WrestleMania, which is Monday Night Raw, you're going to see new rivalries and new things happen. Believe me. 
Congratulations to Drew McIntyre. He beat Seth Rollins to become the World Heavyweight Champion. He deserved that, guys. It was four years ago when he won, and it, he won in front of no fans. This time, he won in front of fans. So, congratulations to Drew McIntyre. He did what he said he was going to do. Now, his new chapter starts over. I know that Seth Rollins is kind of hurt behind it, but hey, here's the deal. You're on a contract. You got a negotiation for a contract. I don't think Seth Rollins is leaving WWE. I don't think Becky Lynch is leaving WWE. I do believe that Seth Rollins needs to take time off and he needs to rebuild himself again. And then we'll see where he goes then because Seth Rollins does not have a good WrestleMania record, man. He does not win a lot at WrestleMania. He won last year against Logan Paul, but the years before that, he's been losing at WrestleMania. And he lost last night, and he lost tonight. And I told you guys that he was going to be the one that probably is going to lose the most. And he did. He lost two matches last night during WrestleMania. Seth Rollins went over two at WrestleMania. Kind of crazy, but it's true. But uh, besides that, folks, I'll be back with you guys tomorrow with the recap of WrestleMania, more of a recap of WrestleMania, the championship game between uh, UConn and Purdue. I think it's going to take place Tuesday. And also, we'll talk more about the NBA. Good night, everybody.